Hi, my name is Lena Herring, and today I will be discussing one of the world's greatest leaders, Sir Winston Churchill. The goal of this presentation is to establish who Churchill was as a leader and discuss how he had made such a large impact on the world. Winston Churchill is most famously known for his role as Britain's Prime Minister from 1940 to 1945, and then again in 1951 to 1955. It was in this role that he rallied the British people during World War II and led his country from the brink of defeat alongside two other powerful leaders, Franklin D. Roosevelt and Joseph Stalin. Aside from being a politician, you might know Churchill from his many famous quotes. He was a legendary orator, author, and artist. He has left a lasting impact on the world as we know it, and his leadership legacy endures a testament to the power of conviction, eloquence, and principled statemanship in shaping the course of history. As stated before, Churchill is famous for his ability to speak. It was in his speeches that he rallied nations during the rise of Hitler. However, Churchill was not born a natural speaker. He had a strong stutter as a child and flunked out of school before going to military school. His first speech in the House of Commons at just 29 years old ended in failure. He got up to speak and froze for three whole minutes before heading back to his seat in defeat. It was from this failure that Churchill vowed to prepare deeply for every speech he would give. His emotional delivery of so many famous speeches are still ingrained in the minds of generations long past Churchill. In a time of chaos and darkness, Churchill's speeches injected courage and spread hope throughout the world. His message was honest, clear, and inspiring for his listeners. Now let's discuss Churchill's leadership traits. He possessed many leadership traits that made him go down in history as one of the greatest politicians. He excelled where even history's best brains would have failed. He possessed unwavering vision, grit and passion, perseverance and courage, amongst any other traits. He had a clear vision of democratic world and was the first person to warn the world of the Nazis' threat to democracy. He took risks to achieve greatness and embodied what it meant to be a convicted leader with courageous truth-telling. Despite facing numerous setbacks and challenges, Churchill remained resilient and persevered in the pursuit of his goals. His determination to continue the fight against Nazi Germany, even in the darkest days of the war, is a testament to his resilience. Lastly, let's take a look at some of Churchill's major contributions. We've already discussed his leadership during World War II. He provided strategic guidance to include military decisions and operations. He was also instrumental in forming the Big Three alliance between Britain, the United States, and the Soviet Union. In 1946, he delivered his famous Iron Curtain speech in which he warned the world of the growing influence of the Soviet Union in Eastern Europe. This speech marked the beginning of the Cold War. Speaking of the Cold War, he played a key role in the establishment of NATO in 1949. NATO was a vital alliance for the defense of the Western democracies during the Cold War. After the end of World War II, he was vital to the reconstruction efforts of Europe, and he advocated for a united and strong European community. With regards to his literature, he won a Nobel Prize in 1953 for his brilliant oratory in defending human values. He played a role in the establishment of the Special Air Service during World War II, which has become an elite and highly effective Special Forces unit. Lastly, he was largely known for his advocacy and democracy. He was a staunch defender of individual freedoms, and his warning of Hitler's attack on democracy served as a turning point for the world as we know it.